What's going on guys, GSNow right here, so in today's video I have a solution for you in order to prevent the device from updating automatically to iOS 10.3.2 or any other firmware. So this is going to be very useful if you want to stay on a specific version, for example on this particular device I want to stay on iOS 10.2.1 and on another device I want to stay on iOS 10.3.1, but none of them should be updated to 10.3.2 because I want to be able to use the exploit or use the um, the jailbreak in the future. So in order to prevent the device from downloading these updates automatically and for, of course from um, keeping on asking me to update or to you know postpone it for the night and so on, I'm going to use a method called the no OTA profile. Now no OTA stands for no over the air. Over the air updates are those updates that are, are made without a computer, exactly as this one from the settings. And what I need to do now is to install that profile. And what I see right now in here on the software update, when you go in here, you can see it checks for update and then it finds 10.3.2 and it asks me to download and install. It's going to disappear. Now keep in mind that this is pretty, pretty bad. Uh, not the method itself, but the way Apple handles the software updates. At some point, um, it's, it's going to download automatically the update. As you can see for now it says download and install, but at some point it's going to automatically download the update and after that it's going to keep on asking you if you want to install it and it's going to ask you nearly every day if you want to install it and has those buttons very well positioned so that you somehow always slip the, the finger and always click to update now instead of postponing for the night and so on. So it is very annoying. In order to stop this from downloading any updates or from telling you that you have any updates so that you can stay on a jailbroken firmware or you can stay on a firmware that's going to receive a jailbreak, you can use this one in here. It's going to be available in the description created by HiKai or uploaded by HiKai on um, on his GitHub, you click open binary file in here. You have to be of course in mobile Safari. And as you can see, it installs the tvOS 10 beta. Now about this profile, we talked in the past when iOS 10.1.1 and 10.2 were, um, were the current versions and when 10.2 got released. But a lot of people do not know about this now. And since the exploit for iOS 10.3.1 is going to be released in the summer, you have to stay on 10.3.1 if you update it already, up until the summer. Now, of course, uh, if you want to stay on iOS 10.2.1 as well, you have to stay on 10.2.1, of course, without updating. So this is going to be pretty damn good. Now I'm going to click install in here, click install again, and as you can see, it asks you for a restart in order to apply this thing. I'm going to restart the device and be right back. All right, so a restart is all it takes for this device. Now let's see what happened. I'm going to go ahead here in settings and I'm going to go to general, software update. And as you can see, I no longer have any updates despite the fact that iOS 10.3.2 is already out, 10.3.1 is already out. I'm still on 10.2.1 and it says your software is up to date. Now the reason this works, let me try to explain a little bit how this works. If you go ahead in here, you have this profile, tvOS 10 beta software, and the reason this works, you can also delete it if you want, is because it is a tvOS, which is not iOS profile. Now, if you install this one, it's going to try to search for, of course, an update for the tvOS, which is not compatible on your device. And therefore, it's going to tell you that the version you're currently running is, of course, up to date. If you want to stop this and if you want to update later, you want to make the device start, you know, downloading again the updates, it's pretty simple. What you need to do is to go back in here to settings, go, go again to general, scroll, and find the profile in here under the VPN. Click on the profile, click delete profile, delete again, reboot the device, and when, after you reboot, when you go ahead on the software update, you're going to see again the current version of the iOS popping up. But, um, as long as you have this profile installed, it's not going to pester you anymore with any kind of updates. Keep in mind that with that profile always comes this feedback application that you cannot uh, uninstall, unfortunately. You can see it stays in here. And uh, when you open it, it's going to tell you this. You're going to, to send you know, info to Apple. You click the client, do not use the application at all. Application somewhere, for example, in the extras, not to pester you in here. And there you go. This is actually it, guys. Till the next time, do not forget, subscribe to stay updated. Give this video a thumb up if it helped and peace out.